Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We meet again in Mathematics UFO KSSR Semakan 2017. So, for today, we will continue our lesson on convert fractions and percentages. As you can see in page 94 and 95 in your textbook. So, we go to our topic today. So, the things that you will learn today is the way how you convert fractions into percentages. And from percentages, you will convert into fractions. So, we will learn two things today, which is convert fractions into percentages and convert percentages into fractions. So, let's look at example number one. The boy said 100 donuts were sold. 35 pieces were chocolate donuts. That means from 100 donuts, 35 is chocolate donuts. Now, can you state the percentage of the chocolate donuts? All of the boxes here represent 100 donuts and the brown box here represent chocolate donuts. So, as we know, there are 35 out of 100 donuts are chocolate donuts. 35 out of 100 is 35 hundreds. So, 35 hundreds is written as 35 over 100. This is the fraction of the chocolate donuts. So, we want to change 35 over 100 into percentage. If you want to change from fraction into percentage, make sure the denominator is over 100. So, in this case, 35 over 100, we can directly convert into percentage which is 35%. So, you can write 35 over 100 equal to 35%. That's how we convert fraction into percentage. Now, let's learn more in example number 2. The question is, what is the percentage of the blue squares? You know that all of the boxes here is 100 because each side has 10 box and the other side also has 10 box. So, all together is 100 boxes. So, you need to find out how many blue squares here? After you count, you get 24 out of 100 squares are blue. So, we write 25 out of 100 in fraction is 24 over 100. So, because of denominator is already 100, so we can directly convert this fraction into percentage which is 24 over 100 when you convert into percentage you will get 24% we can directly convert into percentage because the denominator is already 100 and then the next question is, what is the percentage of the white squares? 
if you count, you will get 76 out of 100 is white squares. So, when we convert 76 over 100 into percentage, you can directly convert. So, you get the answer 76%. Let's continue with example number 3. Write 7 over 10 in percentage. Method number 1 to solve this problem is you write again 7 over 10. Look at the denominator. As I told you earlier, if you want to convert into percentage, the denominator mass in 100 so you need to multiply the denominator with 10 because 10 times 10 equal 100 when you multiply the denominator by 10 so you need to multiply the numerator in 10 also so after you multiply 7 times 10 equal 70 10 times 10 equal 100 so you get 7, 70 over 100 so after this you can directly convert 70 over 100 into percentage so you get 70 percent you can also use method number 2 which is 7 over 10 you multiply with 100% so you can do elimination where you can cancel the 0 with the 0 here so you multiply 7 times 10 7 times 10 equal 70 and then you write the percent symbol so you can get 70 percent question number four convert four over five to percentage by using method number one you write again four over five we need to change the denominator into 100 so 5 if you want to change into 100 you need to multiply with 20 because 5 times 20 equal 100 and then you need to multiply the numerator with 22 okay so now 4 times 20 is 80 5 times 20 is 100. So we get 80 over 100. And then 80 over 100, we can directly convert into percentage. So we get 80%. Method number 2 is we multiply 4 over 5 times 100 you can use cancellation or elimination to solve this problem which is we want to make the denominator here to digit 1 5 to be a digit 1 you need to divide by 5 5 divide by 5 equal 1 and then 100 divide by 5 you will get 20 and then you multiply 4 times 20 4 times 20 equal 80 and then you write the symbol percent the answer is 80 percent question number five state 63% in fraction of hundreds. So, this question wants you to convert from percentage 
into fraction of 100. So, we write again 63% equal over 100. So, we can directly convert from percentage into fraction where you get answer 63 over 100. Example number 6, write 90% in the simplest fraction. This question also want you to convert from percentage into simplest fraction. So, we write 90% equal to 90 over 100. This is not the simplest fraction because we can divide this number by something. We can also use elimination or cancellation technique to cancel the zero at the end of 90 and 100. So 90 has one zero. We cancel one zero and then the denominator also we cancel one zero. So you will get final answer 9 over 10. This is the simplest fraction. Example number 7, write 40% in the simplest fraction. So, you write 40% equal to 40 over 100. So, we need to simplify this. First, you can cancel both zero. So, you get 4 over 10. And then, 4 over 10, we can divide by 2. 4 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2. So, 4 divided by 2, you get 2. 10 divided by 2, you get 5. So, the simplest fraction of 40% is 2 over 5. I hope this explanation can help you to understand topic convert fractions and percentages. Good luck, see you soon and bye-bye.